From day one, Tesla Motors had a solid plan. This summer, Tesla has become the world's most valuable car maker, overtaking Japan's Toyota after its stock hit a record high. The company might have its secret key to success, but they definitely have bigger news for the next year. While the company is not given the official word of its sales going for 2021, their plans are actually insane. So let's see Tesla's plans to take over 2021. Giga Shanghai Tesla Giga Shanghai or Giga Factory 3 is a factory in Shanghai, China operated by Tesla. The Shanghai municipal government approved the agreement to build the production facility in July 2018, and a long-term lease was signed for about 210 acres of land in October 2018. Construction began in December 2018 with the installation of secure fencing and site offices. The General Assembly building was nearly complete by August 2019, and manufacturing line equipment was being installed for both batteries and automobiles. The plant began initial production of Tesla Model 3 cars in October 2019, with additional production facilities for motors, seats, and powertrain assemblies under construction in late 2019. According to media reports from China, Tesla intends to expand the manufacturing capacity of Giga Shanghai to 550,000 electric cars annually in 2021. It does not automatically mean that the company will make 550,000 cars, but that at least at some point next year, it will produce cars at such a rate. The 550,000 vehicles from Gigafactory 3 will be 300,000 Model 3 and 250,000 Model Y. Production of the Model Y in China is scheduled to start in early 2021 at the latest. For 2020, Tesla's goal was to make 150,000 units, which now seems small compared to the larger goal planned for next year. The reason for that huge jump is twofold. Tesla has the upcoming completion of its second phase of the factory, and the factory will also be exporting vehicles overseas. Of these vehicles, Tesla is planning to make in Shanghai 100,000 Model 3 and 10,000 Model Y, destined for export. Model 3 exports to Europe have already been confirmed. What's not clear is where the 10,000 Model Y vehicles will be exported to. According to current plans for Europe, the electric car will only come from Giga Berlin in Grünheide, Germany. It appears Tesla has changed its previous production policy regarding Model Y imports from China. Tesla has not commented on the reports about their alleged production plans or export figures. In Germany, construction of the European plant Giga Berlin in Grünheide is progressing, although apparently not as quickly as planned. Slight delays are currently expected due to slow approval procedures. Latest Model 3 and Model Y Upgrades A refreshed Tesla Model 3 was announced in October, with more available standard features and new tech. Additional updates include fresh wheel designs and a few other styling upgrades. The dual-motor AWD long-range version's 0-60 mph time also dropped from 4.4 to 4.2 seconds. Best of all, every Model 3 trim has an increased range on a single charge. There's also been another interesting Model 3 upgrade, the headlights. Up until now, these new and more powerful headlights featuring defined beam with a more square-like pattern have been spotted in some markets, such as the UK. Electric claims it has obtained a memo sent to Tesla sales staff that the new headlight design and technology will not only debut on the Model Y, but will spread to all markets coming in the near future. We're transitioning Model 3 and Model Y to a new headlight design, which is eventually going to be consistent across all variants globally, they state. By Q1 2021, we expect all Model 3 and Model Y vehicles to feature this new unit. Along with the new pattern design, these headlights are capable of focusing the beam far more precisely than the outgoing units. The new headlight tech may even be upgraded in the future through over-the-air software updates. Safety is the main reason for the update. If you recall, back in 2018, the Model 3 failed to earn the top safety score from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or IIHS, for one key reason, which is headlight performance. Tesla initiated an update only a few months later which resulted in an improved score. But these new headlights will ensure the sedan and crosscover won't encounter any additional safety score downgrades. Some other automakers have encountered regulatory problems regarding new headlight technology. Tesla's new headlights apparently haven't encountered any approval issues. Eventually, the NHTSA will update the rule and Tesla will surely have an update ready to go. Looking inward, Model 3 customers will find a revamped interior, even more intuitively assembled to support both its driver and passenger. A new center console with graphite trim now houses two wireless charging pads for smartphones. 
Nearby sits the Model 3's new metallic finished steering wheel, complete with metal infotainment scrolling wheels. Of course, aesthetics are important for the look and style of an EV, but it's what's under the floor that matters most. 2021 brings range improvements to all three drivetrains of the Model 3. The Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus with RWD jumps from a 250-mile EPA-estimated range in 2020 to 263 miles. The speed-focused Tesla Model 3 performance option saw 16-mile range increases to 315, up from 299 miles last year. Tesla Model 3 long-range dual motor, however, saw the largest increase in range, expanding from 323 miles to 353 miles for 2021. It's actually due to Tesla switching its own designed heat pump into the 2021 Model 3 refresh. The more efficient heat pump was first introduced in this year's Model Y. This should come as little surprise as the two models are Tesla's newest EVs and share a lot of the same parts. Since upgrading the Model 3, Tesla has also hit refresh on its website for the 2021 Tesla Model Y including a few tweaks to its youngest EV. Model Y's update include auto dimming mirrors, laminated window glass, and metal scrolls on the steering wheel. Furthermore, the new Model Y came with a USB port in the glove box complete with a Tesla-branded storage device to save data for features like Sentry Mode or a Tesla Cam. One last feature customers can continue to look forward to is a seven-seat interior option. CEO Elon Musk publicly confided that the third row of seats couldn't be completed in time for the Model Y's initial launch. Roadster 2021 Don't you think that the original Tesla Roadster put the all-electric automaker on the map? Slated to make its return in 2021, the second-generation Roadster bests its predecessor by adding two small rear seats, significantly more driving range, and a much higher level of performance. Elon Musk boasted about a 1.9-second 60mph time and a 250mph top speed when the Roadster concept was unveiled back in 2017. Figures we very much hope will prove accurate when this sports car finally arrives. For now, the 2021 Roadster is merely a concept, and in general, concepts change drastically during their development into production models. The Roadster concept features a removable glass panel roof which you can stow in the trunk. It has four seats, but the rear ones look as though they may not fit adults, given the Roadster's dramatically angled roofline. Other than that, we expect to see Tesla's signature minimalist interior design repeated here. Musk also previously admitted the Roadster project had been put on the back burner to focus company efforts on getting Cybertruck production up and running. Now that its new Texas-based assembly plant is under construction, Tesla can go back to its Halo car project. Cybertruck Welcome to the Cybertruck unveil! Yeah! It's been over a year since Tesla unveiled Cybertruck, and the Tesla Cybertruck looks like it was dropped off by an alien race, right? With a sharp-edged exterior that's made of scratch and dent-resistant stainless steel, Tesla's all-electric truck is seriously tough. Along with available all-wheel drive, the Cybertruck can tow up to 14,000 pounds and has an estimated driving range of 500-plus miles. While that applies only to the most expensive model, the cheapest one starts at $39,900. Of course, there's still a lot we don't know about the Cybertruck, including when it will officially go on sale. Right now, it looks as if the first versions will go into production in late 2021. The Cybertruck will be available in three different configurations, which are all based on the number of electric motors each has. While all-wheel drive is standard on all but the single motor version, each additional motor means quicker acceleration, longer driving range, and greater towing capacity. The Cybertruck is available with not just one, not just two, but three electric motors. While the single-motor truck has rear-wheel drive, the two- and three-motor models have all-wheel drive. Tesla claims it'll go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 6.5 seconds and top out at 110 miles an hour. The dual-motor Cybertruck will reportedly reach 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 ticks and have a top speed of 120 miles per hour. 
Those looking for the ultimate performance will appreciate the three-motor model, which Tesla says will essentially teleport from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 2.9 seconds, with a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Anyways, how would you like to travel in space with this vehicle? What do you think about this amazing car-making company? Do you think 2021 will be the best year for Tesla? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.